This is 1999 D. Roosevelt Dime in MS69 condition. Amazing superb gem from a Roosevelt Dime series with immaculate striking definition which is proven by PCGS with full bands designation. According to website of the grading service, collectors should have no problem obtaining an example of the 1999 D. Roosevelt Dime, as the mint struck over 1.3 billion examples, making it very easy to find. Examples up to MS67 condition are fairly common. Only in MS68 or higher is it scarce. With full bands in MS68 and higher it is even scarcer. MS69 specimens are almost unheard of. PCGS certified just 4 specimens in that high-end grade so far. This MS69 gem ended up selling for $1,800. Number 6. 1992 S Silver Kennedy Half Dollar with Double Die Obverse. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, this is another Kennedy Half variety that is exceedingly elusive and trades so seldom that the PCGS price guide shows absurdly low prices for the variety. Untoned silver white example beams with splendid luster and profound contrast between frosted devices and mirrored fields. The distinctive, bold notching indicating die doubling is easily seen on the designer's initials the 92 of the date, and much of the obverse lettering. It was sold for $2,585. Number 5. Another elusive Kennedy half dollar in excellent gem condition. 2010 D 50 cent piece in mint state 68. This D mint Kennedy half yields unbelievable technical quality and aesthetic appeal. Its silver gray surfaces are awash with mint luster, and crisp definition is apparent on the design elements. Kennedy's hair in particular exhibits razor-sharp detail. The surfaces are nearly flawless. Just a minute mark seen under close inspection on Kennedy's neck below the ear. It was sold for $3,995. Number 4. 2000p Sacagawea dollar struck on a 2000p Maryland quarter. Graded as MS67 by NGC. This is a stunning superb gem example with intense light gray luster and remarkable surface quality. Indications of the Maryland quarter undertype remain visible, including part of the word old on the baby's cheek, and part of the word line on Sacagawea's chin. Washington's ear is apparent beneath Unum. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 3. Here is 1999 D. Roosevelt dime broad struck on a scent planchet. Graded in mint state 65 brown by NGC. Under most circumstances, wrong metal errors involving planchets of larger diameter than the design allows are impossible. The flan simply would not fit due to the presence of the collar. In a broad strike, however, coins can be struck out of collar, which would bypass that restriction and permit the striking of an unusual error. Such was the case with the origin of this fascinating piece. Blue-green, violet, and gold-orange elements grace each side of this gem. Significant unstruck margins surround the central elements. The devices are sharp, as one might expect from the excess metal, and the eye appeal is strong. It fetched a sum of $6,900. Number 2. 1991-1995 World War II half-dollar double-struck. Graded as PR66 by NGC. This impressive Philadelphia mint error exhibits two off-center strikes that are slightly offset so that both strikes are clearly visible. The widest part of the unstruck planchet is just over 3 mm, suggesting that the two strikes are about 10 to 15% off center. Delicate champagne toning appears on the light gray proof surfaces of this copper nickel half dollar. It ended up selling for $10,575. Number 1. 1990 S Proof Memorial Scent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. It was in 1968 that the San Francisco Mint or officially, the San Francisco SA office took up the mantle of producing the United States proof coins, accordingly adding an S mint mark on those pieces. In that same year the first no S proof coins were produced, the 1968 no S Roosevelt dimes. The same scenario has repeated several times since, and in 1990 fewer than 200 pieces of the 1990 no S Lincoln Center believed to have escaped the facility. The present bright orange-red example is every bit as attractive and perfect as the day it left the proof dies. It ended up selling for $19,550. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.